You're about to film an interview with your best friend. He has this brand new camera, but the video, it just doesn't match with yours. Let's find out how to match the colors of two different shots inside Premiere Pro. And we're inside Premiere Pro because we're going to do the color correction with the Lumetri toolset. Now the first thing you will see is that in my timeline I've got this long shot of Kim which is pretty grey, pretty cold and then we have got this medium shot which is a lot warmer. So we'll have to match these two shots. Now to do that I actually want to see these two shots next to each other. And I can't use my source monitor because this one is linked to my project panel. I will actually need a second window right here that is also linked to my timeline. So for to do that we can go up to the window menu and from there just select the reference monitor. There we go. And that will open up this new panel. Now the great thing is when I'm going to scrub through my timeline, the video feed inside the program monitor will change, but it will not in the reference monitor. The reference monitor has its own play bar right here. So we can set it to the first shot, like that, and then in the program monitor, just use the timeline to set it to the second shot. And now I can see both at the same time. Now let's get started with the color correction. I actually want to match this shot here on the left with the one on the right, because I find this one to look pretty okay. Now to do that, select your first shot and then open up your Lumetri color tools. And let's start by looking at these two shots. The first thing you might see is that the color temperature is completely off. And that's probably the first thing you want to do, but we won't. Because we're first going to play with something else, and that is the saturation. Because the color temperature will have a big influence on how your saturation is set. But actually, we're also not going to start with the saturation. Because when we're going to change the exposure, that will have an influence on the saturation. So the first step you always have to do is play with the exposure. So head over to your basic correction and let's start with that. Now from my first opinion I must say that the exposure looks pretty okay. I might want to increase the exposure just a tiny bit because her jacket here is a little bit darker as in this shot and then I actually want to fix the highlights by bringing down those highlights. Now what this will do it will also lower the contrast so I actually want to increase the contrast again. Like that and I actually find the exposure to be pretty okay. Perhaps increase the shadows just a tiny bit more like that. Try to look at both of your shots all the time while changing these values right here. So that is set right now and we've already altered the saturation by just changing the exposure and the contrast etc. And that's the reason why it's so important to do this first. Next let's head over to the creative tab because we want to change the saturation but in the creative tab we also have a vibrance option. Now the difference between these two is that the vibrance actually works dynamic and with that I mean it will look at the different colors in your shot. For example the greens are already pretty saturated so it will actually first increase the saturation of the other colors until they sit equally to the greens and then it will increase all the rest. Let me just show that to you. I'm going to increase the vibrance to the maximum and you will see that the saturation of all the colors are kind of equally. Now when I'm going to increase the saturation, like that, you will see that Kimmer's skin tones are still down a little, but the greens, well, they're actually now oversaturated. Now this doesn't mean you always have to use the vibrance, it's actually a match of both. So let's see what we can do now. I'm going to reset this again, and I'm going to start with some vibrance. Let's increase that a little bit, like that, and then perhaps add some more saturation like so. Now while doing this keep looking at both of your shots until you found the best spot and now it's time to change the temperature and for that we'll head back to the basic color correction and from here we've got a very easy slider for the temperature. So let's just increase the color temperature until again it matches with the other shot. Something like this? Yeah perhaps. Actually a problem that we always have when changing the color temperature is that the tint will also change. Well, it's not changed in here, but it is changed in your shot. When adding more orange or more warmth to your shot, also the magenta will increase a little bit. So we have to decrease the magenta, but just a tiny bit. 
and you can very clearly see that in her skin tones. Let me just zoom in on her. I'm going to set this to 100. Just locate her right there. You can see that there's a lot of magenta in her skin tones right here. So I actually want to add some more green in there, but not too much, just a tiny bit like that. Now you will also notice that when you're going to add more blue into your shot, that you also want to add more magenta into your shot. It works the same way, but then in the opposite. The sharpness in this shot is not that much, and you can clearly see that now that we're in 100% view. So head over to your Creative tab and just increase some sharpness. You want to zoom back out to fit. There we go. Now these two shots don't match just already. If you compare the overall colors in this shot and in that shot, well, the greens are just too much in here. So we actually only want to bring down the green color in this shot. And again, we can simply do that. Just head over to your Curves tab. And from here, also open up the U Saturation Curve. And this curve here allows us to decrease the greens if we enable that from all of these bullet points right here. And that creates three anchor points on this circle, which means we can either push this up or push this down. When pushing it up, we will increase the saturation for the greens, and when pushing it down, we will decrease the saturation. Now, perhaps you actually want to increase your range just a tiny bit if you don't cover all the greens. So now that we've done all these parameters, we're going to check both of these shots again. Perhaps there's something that we've missed. I don't find the exposure that well when I have a second look at it now. So I'm going to go back up here, head back to my basic corrections, and I think I have to increase the contrast a little bit more, like that. Now let's have a look at the before and the after, and I believe that we've done a pretty good job. Now we're not working in a raw format here, so not everything is possible, but we can do our best to match these shots as close as possible. Now if you want to learn a lot more about the whole spectrum of color correction and color grading with the Lumetri toolset, then you can follow my course by clicking the card in the upper right. It's always better to communicate with your colleague to match your cameras, but I know it's not always so convenient. So I hope you've learned something new in this video. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks a lot for watching and stay creative.